Hi guys, this is me, Nightmare3464. I'm going to continue reading Jeff the Killer love story that my friend has asked me to read for her. Anyway, this is a really good story and I hope you guys enjoy. Chapter 2 Jeff and Maskey leapt into the woods, leaving Lila to come out. Why did Jeff leave without saying goodbye? Why did he kiss me and said to stay here? I said to myself, as I stand there, Stones is close by watching me. The guy started to get closer and closer to me. I heard a noise and turned around. There was where the noise was coming from. And then I was met face to face with my stalker. I screamed and she. I fell into black. I blacked out. Jeff's point of view. I was thinking about Lila she, as I walked to the Slenderman house to talk to him. I was was not really worried, but why? But what does Slenderman want to talk about? All I could think about was Lila. I thought about how she was must was the most beautiful girl I ever seen. I can't get her out of my mind. I wanted to spend more time with her, to get to know her. I might be start falling in love with her but I couldn't I couldn't believe that I haven't loved anyone since Jane cheated on me with her own best friend I was hoping that she wasn't mad at me for leaving right after I kissed her why did I kiss her I was thinking about this as I was about to step into Slenderman's house when I heard Lila scream I looked at Maskey and then I ran back to the park but when I got there I was she was gone just then Cinderman came and talked to me telling me they are going to find her I was worried about her